From the diamond planet to the lava planet, there are so many strange planets orbiting in the universe. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host, and here are your top 10 strangest planets ever discovered in space. Coming up in our number 10 spot, we have Gliese 581c. Gliese 581c is considered an exoplanet, which basically just means that it's a planet that is not in our solar system, a planet located 20 light years away. It is a planet that is in the constellation of Libra. This is a planet that only ever faces its star, which is known as tidally locked. The side facing the star experiences scorching temperatures, which would literally make you melt, and the other side experiences extreme frozen temperatures. In between both of the extremes, though, is a small bit of land that has good weather conditions that it could possibly support alien life. It very well may already, and we may find out in the year 2029 as we sent a message to the planet in 2008, and we're expecting it to get there then. It probably won't get back to us till 2050 if there is even a return message, so I wouldn't hold your breath. In our number nine spot, we have Gliese 436b, another planet from outside our solar system. This planet is 30 light years from Earth, and it is located in the constellation of Leo. This planet is interesting because it is at a distance of about 15 times closer to the sun than Mercury is, but it continues to be covered in ice. It is said that the temperature is about 439 degrees Celsius, which is 822 degrees Fahrenheit. So how the heck does its ice surface not melt? Apparently, it's because of gravity. The gravity on the planet is so strong that it compresses any traces of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere, and it then turns into solid ice, and this prevents it from melting. In our number eight spot, we have a sapphire and ruby planet. This is a planet named Hat P7b. Honestly, NASA, if you need someone to help you come up with names for your new planets that you discover in the future, I'm your gal. Whoever signed off on this name maybe needs a vacation to replenish their creative juices. This planet is an exoplanet located in the Cygnus constellation and is about 1,000 light years away. Apparently, the planet has high precipitation of aluminum oxide, and its crystallized form is usually rubies and sapphires. And so that's how it's got its name of being the planet that rains rubies and sapphires. Along with this, though, the planet does experience some crazy violent storms. So apparently, it is believed due to this, the gemstones are all over the planet scattered. But still, super cool. I hope we're able to send a rover there someday to retrieve some of the gems. I know we have them here on the planet, but still, a ruby from another planet is so much cooler. In our number seven spot, we have the raining glass planet. HD 189773b is quite the unusual planet. It is a large planet being larger than Jupiter and it is located about 62 light years away. It's a beautiful azure color, which is just a shade of blue. Its atmosphere is what makes it strange. It is made up of silicate atoms and particles mostly. It also has high wind speeds that can reach up to as high as 5,400 miles per hour. For perspective, that's around two kilometers a second. Jeez. Its temperature can reach over 900 degrees Celsius and 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet is known as the raining glass planet because yes, it literally rains glass sideways. That is really hard to imagine and just kind of terrifying, so I'm gonna maybe move on. In our number six spot, we have the planet that eats light. The WASP-12b planet is an exoplanet that is known for how dark it is. It is known for being twice the size of Jupiter and its atmosphere temperature is around 4,600 degrees Celsius, which is 8,312 degrees Fahrenheit. I googled that. On one side of the planet, it basically eats light as it doesn't reflect light into space. It apparently can trap 94% of the visible starlight falling into the atmosphere. The planet orbits so close to its star that it has a fixed day side and night side. The night side is, of course, much colder than the side that is eating all of the visible light. It is known as a hot Jupiter as it orbits very, very close to its star and it's heated to enormous temperatures. In our number five spot, we have the pink planet. 
strangest planet or is this the coolest planet? I have to admit that I'm a bit biased as pink is my favorite color. Orange is in a close second, so it's going to be cool to me because I just love the color. <laughs> this is another exoplanet that is named Gliese 504b and it is considered a Jovian planet. Apparently it orbits its star at close to nine times the distance that Jupiter orbits the sun. Damn. It also weighs in at four times Jupiter's mass. It is within the constellation of Virgo. It is believed that since the planet is pretty new, it is newly formed, that is why the surface is so pink. Well, hopefully it stays this way so we can get rid of that theory because the universe needs a beautiful pink planet. Not that that does anything or changes anything, perhaps purely for the viewing pleasure for us and aliens out there on other planets. In our number four spot, we have the dark planet. There is a planet that has been discovered that is extremely dark called Trez 2b. This planet is so dark that it has been said that it is darker than coal. That's pretty dark. In fact, in 2011, the planet was identified as the darkest known exoplanet as it apparently reflects less than 1% of light that hits it. The little light that is reflected is a bit red, and so that's what gives the planet a red hue. And I wish we had a way to visit all of these planets in person. Why can't Star Wars be real life? Ah, who agrees with me? In our number three spot, we have the ocean planet. There is a planet in our solar system that is completely and entirely ocean. The ocean is spread across the entirety of the planet. Whoa. The planet is also known as a super Earth, which means it is larger than Earth, but it is significantly smaller in mass and radius. It was discovered in 2013 by NASA that the planet may have its own clouds too. Cool. In our number two spot, we have the diamond planet. 55 Cancri E is an extraordinary planet that is more popularly known as the diamond planet. It is 40 light years away from Earth, located in the constellation of Cancer. It is another super Earth planet that is twice the size of Earth and is nearly eight times more massive and twice as dense. It is believed that the planet is largely carbon and it has a high pressure and surface temperature, and that is why it is believed to be covered in diamonds. Yes. Yes, that's right, diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> it is believed to be about 4,417 degrees Fahrenheit and 2,400 degrees Celsius. It orbits its planet star fully in only 18 hours as it is quite close to it. Coming up in our number one spot, we have the lava planet. The Kepler 78b is a strange planet indeed. It is known as the lava planet, and as you can probably guess, that is because it is mostly or entirely, we're we're not very sure at this point, covered in lava. It is an exoplanet in the Cygnus constellation, and it is a planet that is super close to its parent star. So close that it is said to be only 550,000 miles away. Its temperature is approximately 2,030 degrees Celsius and 3,680 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the fact that it is basically a lava planet, it is similar to our planet in many ways, such as in mass, density, and radius. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Mladi, and I will see you next time. I hope, as always, that you have a good day, sir. It also weighs in at four times Jupiter's mass. Wow, I said Jupiter's. This is. <laughs>